Space Marines have a whole ton of value kits, both combat patrols and plenty more besides. Let's talk through every single one of them, and how good they're generally considered to be for getting an army of power armoured marines onto the tabletop. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today we're talking Space Marine discount sets, and in this video I thought we'd go for a rough overview of every single one of them. Space Marines do have quite a lot of discount box sets on offer, everything from combat patrols to online exclusive things to temporary box sets, and for this one to keep it relevant I thought we'd look at anything that's either on sale currently or has released within the scope of 10th edition. At least there's a reasonable chance that the people around the world might well be able to get their hands on one if they can find them in either a local gaming shop or in Games Workshop's web store or discount retailers. For each box set, let's talk through their cost and contents, a theoretical discount that you'd get compared with buying the miniatures separately, and I thought we'd go through them in order of how well you guys rated the sets by popularity, with a community poll that I did on the channel to highlight the ones that people are most and least enthused about. Loads to talk about for everyone's favourite boys with bolters, so let's jump straight in. First up, I was very pleased to see voted last was Combat Patrol Space Marines, which unfortunately is absolutely deserving of its place. Glad to see that the vast majority of people offering an opinion on this one knew it's one to avoid at present. In this box set, you get the Terminator Captain and Librarian, plus five Infernus Marines and five Terminators, the ones that come from Leviathan or the starter sets. And this one is rather unfortunately priced at £95, €125 Euros or $160, just the same as the rest of the combat patrols, despite being really quite a flawed choice to pick up on all sorts of levels. Admittedly, the amount of points that you get in the box isn't the worst. You get 435 points worth of marines there, 2.7 points per dollar, which isn't the worst out of the box sets today. Though the discount compared with buying them all separately is the single worst, only 13% off here, even if it weren't directly inferior for other reasons. The main reason that this should absolutely be voted last is that it's directly inferior to buying the 40k starter set plus the Terminator Librarian separately if you wanted to make up this little army. It is kind of crazy that that's the case given that you get basically a bonus Tyranid army thrown in with that deal. I do think that offering this from Games Workshop's web store almost amounts to deceptive marketing for newer players. It does seem like the logical place to start when you're collecting a Space Marine army, but Games Workshop don't make it obvious that there's literally a way within their own web store of buying these exact same miniatures and getting more, and also saving a bit of money as well. Even if that weren't the case though, I don't think people will be very enthused by this. The discount is really quite poor comparatively, even ignoring that, 13% is kind of rubbish, and what's more, that being online only means that most discounters won't carry these. You can buy them through some local gaming stores, though the discount tends to be either less or non-existent, being one of their more direct-only online offerings. On top of that, the models are Monopose versus the full-fat Terminator kit, where you get Cyclone missile launchers and things, or the extra war gear options for the Terminator Captain. And I would also criticise the box just for the amount of miniatures in it. There's only 13 models here, if you're generous and include the Teleport Homo, which I think most wouldn't be. That's mainly due to including two characters here. Overall, between all that, there's literally no reason to buy this given that you can get them separately in an easier way. Never mind that lots of people might already have these due to picking up Leviathan or some parts from it. Next up, and voted a bit higher at 13th by you guys, is this Heroes of the Chapter box set. Another one that's not too hard to see why it's considered a bad deal. This one's basically a single sprue release from the Leviathan box set containing the Apothecary Biologist, the Combi Weapon Lieutenant killing the Tyranid, and five Monopose Sternguard. This one would set you back £65, €85 Euros, or €110 US dollars, and would offer a theoretical discount of around 20% or so, presuming the characters were released individually at Games Workshop's standard sort of support character kind of price. You don't get many points in the box at 220 points, and at 2 points per dollar it's one of the worst in this video from that point of view. For use in game, the Apothecary Biologist and the Combi Weapon Lieutenant both are pretty competitive models right now, depending on the list that you're running. The Stone Guard being monopose is a downside, I think, due to not having the option of power weapons and power fists on the sergeant, which are kind of good. The main reason that people are going to absolutely hate seeing these miniatures at this price, though, is that even if it offers a theoretical discount compared with some of Games Workshop's other offerings, it's just really recent after the Leviathan box set, where you could get basically all of this and much, much more for £75 if you paid for half of the Leviathan box. And you're also likely to be able to pick up these exact miniatures from eBay resellers for less, given how many Leviathan box copies were sold. To cap it all, it's also an online-only one, so poor access to discounts. 
Just in general, I feel like the vast majority of people are going to be able to find these exact models for less than this, and they look like a hilariously ridiculously bad deal when you put them next to Leviathan. Next up, we have the lowest rated of the Combat Patrol box sets by you guys, and that's Combat Patrol Death Watch. I would fully agree in rating it the worst out of the Space Marine Combat Patrols on offer at the moment. In this one, you get the Primaris Apothecary, a Primaris Lieutenant, 10 Intercessors, Three aggressors and some death watch upgrades for shoulder pads and the like. This one costs the standard combat patrol prices at £95 or $160 and for the core miniatures the discount on this one's around 20% though if you include the death watch upgrade sprues and you value them then it goes up to 31 so a bit better there. The points in the box are kind of middling at around 400 so 2.5 points per dollar. Maybe slightly lackluster numbers on all accounts in my opinion. From my point of view, I think that the miniature that makes this box an overall bad deal is that Primaris Lieutenant. Lieutenants are handy enough to have, but including him as well as the Apothecary makes the box set unnecessarily character heavy. He isn't the newer multi-part one with more war gear options, and he's a very very simple miniature in my opinion that you could easily kit bash from a spare intercessor or something. All you need is a fancy power sword, a bolt pistol, and then stick on any other space running accessories that you might have built up, say from spare kits like veteran ones. Even with him though, I still say that it's kind of okay. Probably not going to interest people anywhere near as much of the other combat patrols, though for some people it might be the right choice for them. People have certainly wanted to get their hands on that apothecary at a discount in the past. For Death Watch themselves, I'd say it's not really very Death Watch, though it has more value if you want to get those upgrade sprues, I suppose. Just maybe a shame that the units don't really work particularly well with kill teams as they go. As ever with 40k discount kits, always nice if you can get them at a little bit cheaper than through Games Workshop. I will just quickly mention my channel affiliate links that are down in the video description as one way to help support all specs tactics if you'd like to. Definitely worth bearing in mind if you were looking to pick up any of the combat patrols or any of the other more mainline kits that aren't direct only. In the UK, Element Games typically has 15% off, Gap Games in Australia 21 Fenris Workshop 10% plus their loyalty program, and Wargame Portal 15% off in the USA. They often do some of the online only deals as well at a slightly lesser discount. All the links down in the video description, and a big thank you to anyone who does buy through those, as it does help support the channel and keep the videos coming, and doesn't cost you any more to use the links. Moving onwards and upwards though, voted in 11th was the Honoured of the Chapter box set. This one again it is a combined sprue from one of the starter set offerings. This one having a clutch of miniatures from the Leviathan box set, the Space Marine Chaplain, the rather shadowy Judaseer, and the Blade Guard Ancient, plus three Blade Guard Veterans and three Eradicators. For these nine particular miniatures, it is basically the same price as a Combat Patrol, unfortunately. £95, €120, Euros, or $160. Definitely feels like far too much for these miniatures at first glance, though admittedly due to the overabundance of characters if Games Workshop did sell these separately. You'd likely be looking at around about 32% savings still. In theory, land at least one of the better discounts out there. For points in the box, it's 360, so a little bit low on the points per dollar front at 2.3. And again, just in general, this one's going to feel like a pretty awful deal if you put it next to the Indomitus box set from 9th edition. It is pretty crazy that these represent less than half of the Space Marine miniatures in that box, but are charged at a price now that's way more than half the cost of picking up that Indomitus set. Again, the main reason for the high price but low model count are the three characters here. I'd say that the Eradicators and Blade Guard Veterans are also not kits that are super great for plastic for your money just in general either. Though to be honest, I could see that for newer players who have started long since Indomitus, could be interesting enough to add to an army, I guess. Two squads of dangerous veterans and a few interesting characters. Though obviously just the amount of plastic that you get for the money is going to turn loads of people off. It does seem to be rated low, but not quite as low as the more recent Heroes of the Chapter box set. Space Marines have also had this Spearhead Force Battle Force that came out around Christmas. This one contained a Jump Captain, 15 Jump Intercessors, 3 Outriders and an Invader ATV. The price was £140, €180 Euros, or $230, so around about 1.5 Combat Patrol price there. This one clocking in at a discount of around about 30% on buying these separately. 490 points in the box, though that is particularly low for the money, a pretty disappointing 2.1 points per dollar, just due to most of these units being kind of lowish threat for Space Marines in-game, slightly cheaper, fast attack choices for skirmishing with infantry. This one really is Jump Intercessors, the box set, relevant if you want loads of them and just want to go to town on that new kit from Games Workshop, really not going to be if you don't. 
probably has most appeal for armies such as Blood Angels or maybe Raven Guard. Though I must admit, even for them, I feel like the bikes and the ATV sort of feel like filler for those kind of armies. And this one was voted as the least popular out of the Christmas Battle Force offerings from Games Workshop, even though it has multiple copies of a brand new kit that they'd not sold before or in the box. For in game, the Outriders and ATV Atera may be a little bit so so. I rate the Jump Intercessors as handy enough to have, though, cheap objective skirmishers and doers of secondaries. They do seem to be genuinely very competitive units in Blood Angels, Sons of Sanguinius, where they can get the plus two strength on the charge. The Spearhead box set does seem to be largely sold out, mostly around the world. You might be able to find some in individual Warhammer stores off the shelf, though it's gone from the Games Workshop web store or individual discount retailers. Having a quick look through my affiliate ones, it looks like only Element Games has some of those left, £140 so being sold at first price there. I'll leave that linked in the video description. I guess it's going to be one of the ones that lasts for a little while and then eventually gets sold out. Next up, we come to Combat Patrol Space Wolves. Voted 9th out of the 14 here. In this one you get the unique Primaris Battle Leader, so essentially their version of a Lieutenant. 10 Intercessors, 5 Reavers that you could field as Hounds of Morkai, the Invicta Tactical Warsuit, and 2 Space Wolf Primaris Upgrade Frames. That comes at the standard Combat Patrol box price of £95 or $160, and is a slightly lowish discount of 22% if you're not valuing the Space Wolf bits, though if you do want those sculpted shoulder pads and things it's more like 33 Compared with some, the points in the box aren't too bad, 450 points, so 2.8 per dollar, helps you get towards any given size of force a fair bit more per the money than that spearhead box set, though I feel like this is a set of units that people aren't enormously enthused about right now maybe, the intercessors are nice enough and good to have on the battle line, but just perhaps feels a bit odd they're backed up by a bunch of furball support really. Reavers have generally struggled to be good at any point since they came out in 40k since 8th edition. The Invicta Tactical Warsuit isn't unusable, but a bit mid to weak. And the Space War Battle Leader is a nice enough model, though compared with a lot of these other Combat Patrol sets, it is more specific for Space Wolves, which might turn off general Space Marine Collectors just a little bit, in the same way a slightly more generic Primaris might turn off more dedicated Space Wolf Collectors if they want something with loads of theme. Overall, the points and the discount are kind of fine if you do want specifically these. I can see why people might be less enthused about this one compared with some of the other combat patrols though. Next up, we come to the new Dark Angels combat patrol that came out alongside their codex. In this one, there's the Gravis Captain, 5 Hellblasters, 10 Intercessors, 3 Blade Guard, and the Dark Angels older Primaris upgrade style sprue, as opposed to the snazzy new one that they got alongside their codex. Again, these ones are the standard combat patrol price. And the discount versus buying separately is slightly on the lower side at 19%. Again, like the Space Wolves, be a bit more valuable if you want those upgrade sprues. For points in the box, it's a little bit better than the Space Wolves at 465, so slightly better points per dollar there. I feel like this one's not an awful Combat Patrol box set, but they maybe did make some odd choices. Kind of weird that there's no unique Dark Angel stuff in here, despite now having plastic kits that could have fit that bill. And also that the Gravis Captain comes in here despite not having a Gravis unit to lead. Would have made a bit more sense if he was paired with some aggressors, or if he'd been the standard Captain on foot where he could have led any of the units. In game I'd rate literally all the models here as usable, maybe not enormously stand out for Space Marines, but fine to have. Nice to see two units of elite damage dealers that can handle some slightly heavier things than Bolt Troops. Overall seems fine enough if you want to expand the Space Marines in this way, Reasonable enough points in the box even if the discount isn't huge. One thing that I noticed myself and I've seen talked about a bit is that it pairs pretty well with the Blood Angels Combat Patrol box. The Captain can lead the aggressors in there and the Hellblasters could catch a ride in the Impulsor that comes in that set. I thought I'd do a quick honourable mention at the same time for the old Combat Patrol Dark Angels box, the one with the Redemptor, three Inceptors, some Intercessors and a Chaplain. In general, the internet discussion between this one and the new one was that this one was probably slightly better overall, given the big exciting Redemptor Dreadnought that's quite a handy model to have in-game. It did have slightly more points in the box as well, breaking the 3 points per dollar mark, and had a slightly better discount at 24%. Again, didn't really feel that much of a Dark Angels kit, given no specific unit, though I guess you could bring a fair few thematic plasma weapons to the mix. I did feel like it was a bit of a blow to lose this one though, did have some helpful units for the Space Marines and it would have been nice if it had stuck around. This one's no longer available per Games Workshop's web store, and doesn't appear to be on any of the affiliate link discount retailers at least. 
You might still be able to find a few of these out there in the wild, though they do seem to have got quite rare now. Maybe one to look out for in local gaming stores, though I think it's unlikely that there's going to be any huge supply of these at this point. Next up we've got the Vanguard Task Force, the sneaky Phobos space marines that first came out in Shadow Spear. These were voted 7th overall by you guys, and in this one you get a Phobos Lieutenant, 10 Infiltrators, 3 Eliminators, and 3 Suppressors. All of these are relatively monopose type miniatures, so you don't get the option of last fusals with the Eliminators, or the Incursor Assembly option for the Infiltrators. This one costs slightly less than a Combat Patrol at £85, $140, or 110 euros. And despite maybe feeling like a bit of a downgrade on the previous Combat Patrol Space Marine set, it still has okay numbers from a theoretical discount point of view. 35% discount compared with buying what these kits would cost separately. That's assuming suppressors are the same price as things like Eradicators and Blade Guard. They are monopose though, so you aren't getting quite the same thing there. For points in the box you get 415, so around 3 points per dollar. Not too bad as these Space Marine discount kits go. And for the miniatures, I feel like pretty much all of them are at least somewhat usable in game. The infiltrators in particular are quite nice to have for screening deep strikers on objectives. The eliminators are quite nice in the midfield, though lots of people prefer scout. And this is the only box set that you can get the exact sculpts of the suppressors and the Phobos lieutenant. So I guess that has a bit of draw there. Again, this one's one of their online only ones. So often limited discounts and available at the Warhammer web store only. Though as mentioned, a few of the discounters in the video description do have some. I noticed Wargame Portal does have some listed at a discount in the USA. Moving on, and voted in 6th place was the 40k starter set itself. This one basically contains a slimmed down version of the Combat Patrol for Space Marines, a Terminator Captain, 5 Terminators and 5 Infernus Marines, plus the Tyranid Army that you can see on the right here, the Winged Prime, 2 Rippers, 20 Termagants, 3 Von Ryan's Leapers, and that Hawking Psychophage. All this comes at £65, €85, Euros, or $110 from Games Workshop, and really compared with anything else that we've discussed at the moment, this is way more models than you'd get for the money. Even if you literally just bought the kit, binned the Tyranid half, and kept the Space Marines, you still have a theoretical 24% discount, which is pretty crazy throwing away half the box. Compared with what you pick up the Tyranid miniatures for separately, if you valued everything, then it, it'd be a 63% discount in theory land. For points for the money, you get 3.3 points per dollar for just the Space Marines, never mind the Tyranids. Though if you do value both halves, it's 800 points, or around 7 points per dollar. Again, pretty crazy that that numbers over double anything that we've talked about so far in the video. Just in general, for current Warhammer 40k kits on sale, I'd argue that this might be the single best deal per miniatures that Games Workshop has right now. In general, you're not typically going to find better plastic for your money out of Games Workshop's range. Having said that, it definitely does have drawbacks and criticisms that mean that practically people aren't always going to want this. Lots of people might already have the miniatures from Leviathan at the moment. I've certainly seen some Tyranid players that have multiple copies of everything that you can see here already. There is the small problem to overcome of having two armies in the box rather than one. It means that if you're not a Tyranid collector and you don't have any use for those miniatures, then ideally you need to find someone to split the box set with or bother to resell them or something if you don't just want them as like a painting project or something. I would argue that out of these two forces here, the Tyranids get the better overall deal. They get far more models and the monster includers. And for the Space Marines, you might not be as tempted to get multiple copies of this given the Terminator Captain. Maybe not a miniature that loads of people want lots of, particularly when this specific sculpt is stomping the Carnifex head into the ground, quite a unique look. Still though, the discount on this one compared with the rest is certainly one of the best in 40k, lots of people could get pretty good value out of this I think. Next up, and voted in 5th, is Combat Patrol Black Templars. We're going for more specific space marines here, but we've got a Templar Marshal, 10 Primaris Crusaders, 5 Intercessors, and an Impulsor, plus the new style Black Templar upgrade sprue. This one's normal combat patrol prices once more, a discount of just under 30%, going up higher if you do want the Black Templar upgrades, just under 400 points in the box, equating to 2.4 points per dollar. Due to the unit choices here, in general this one is going to be far more useful for Black Templar players than other Space Marines out there. The Crusader squad is unique to them, and you might need to do a bit of either near proxying or converting and things if you wanted to field them as scouts. But in general, if you are playing Templars, most of the units are quite good. The Crusader squads are definitely nice to have, so is the Marshal. The Impulsor is really quite relevant for them, given the cheap multi-melters they can get. Really quite nice to transport Sword Brethren if you pick up some of those. 
Maybe the intercessors feel like the most extra thing here, given that you've already got the standard troops for the Templar forces. Still not the worst to have in the world in small numbers though, marking those sticky objectives. In general though, for the Templars, I feel like this is good enough. If you are really valuing the upgrade sprue, then it's almost a 40% discount, which is nice. And I feel like compared with some of the other upgrade options that Games Workshop comes out with, it is at least one of the better ones. Votes in 4th place was the bigger brother of the regular 40k starter sets, the Ultimate set. This one I'd see as an expansion of the previous one if this one's more value for the extra money. It costs £125, €160 or $210, almost double the price of the other one. And for that you get a Terminator Librarian, a Barb Gaunt set, a small core rulebook and some Have Bunker type terrain. Games Workshop terrain is fairly pricey most of the time, so this is a quite a big discount here. In theory, this one has a big 68% discount, including all of the Space Marines, Terrain, and Tyranids, and disregarding the rulebook, which is at least fairly wild compared with Games Workshop standards. It is definitely a bit less focused on the miniatures, though, coming with the Terrain and the rulebook. It really does depend on whether or not you want something that's more focused on the miniatures themselves, or you want those extra bits. It does have the advantage that you can play both Combat Patrol Space Marines and Combat Patrol Tyranids right from the same box, which is quite a big advantage given that it doesn't cost massively more than either and comes with the extras. Again, for downside, it does mean that if you just want the Space Marines, then you need to split the box or get good value out of all the other elements of it to really be worth it versus the core set. And otherwise, as mentioned with the standard starter set, the Terminators are monopose, it's a bit character heavy, and the Nids get far more content than the Space Marines, I'd say. So again, it does have some downsides for an Astartes collector. Moving up and voted in third by you guys is Combat Patrol Blood Angels. Again, like some of the other Divergent Chapter ones, it's maybe less of a Blood Angels Combat Patrol and more of a generic Space Marine Combat Patrol. In this one, you get a Librarian, five Intercessors, five Incursors or Infiltrators, three Aggressors, an Impulsor, and those Blood Angels Primaris upgrades. In terms of kits for the money, this one does really quite a lot better than most of the other Space Marine Combat Patrols. A theoretical discount of 36%, raising to a big 45 if you did want those upgrade sprues. And in my opinion, I think you do get quite a fun set of miniatures here. Some armoured elites, some scouty guys, some basic troops, and the standard transport, plus a fun psyker to lead them. In the box, that equates to 430 points, so a little bit less than, say, the Dark Angels and the Space Wolves, but not crazily less. I'd argue that the vast majority of the contents are at least usable in-game, Maybe the library in itself is the single thing that's most niche, often being overshadowed by HQs at its current points cost. Overall though, for a fair few points and quite a fun mix of units, I think it's quite a nice just generic Space Marine starter force, even if you're not playing Blood Angels. As mentioned earlier, I think it also pairs quite well with the Dark Angels one now. The Captain leading these aggressors and the Hellblasters getting a ride in the Impulsor where they can fire out the top of it. That leaves us with two left, and in second place we have Horus Heresy, the Age of Darkness. Perhaps a bit of a curveball here, as a very different way to start a Warhammer 40k army. The starter set from Games Workshop's Horus Heresy game mode. In this one you get two Praetor characters that could be fielded as captains or converted to other things. 10 Cataphractar Terminators, 40 Legion Tactical Squad Space Marines, basic guys with bolters, the mighty Spartan tank, basically a slightly off-armoured land raider with bigger sponsons, a contempt of dreadnought, and the Horus Heresy rulebook and templates. This one really is a big, meaty, expensive box set, £185, €240, Euros, or $310. It is a lot of stuff at quite a lot of discount, though. Around about 40% off getting this kit separately if you're not wanting the Horus Heresy rulebook at all, rising up to almost 50% if you do want that Age of Darkness book, and counting it at full price value. If you decided to roughly make these work for a Space Marine army, I'd say that most of the stuff is pretty able to be proxied. I've chosen to use the Praetors as captains here, could maybe make them work as other HQs. 40 Tactical Marines filling in for Intercessors, the Terminators of course being regular Terminators, the Dreadnought being run as a standard Space Marine Dreadnought, taking the Multi-Melter option, and the Spartan being used as a Lamb Raider. You could convert the turrets to just be two sets of LAS cannons each if you wanted. Overall, that does clock in at 1550 points in game. A big 5 points per dollar if you chose to use it this way for Space Marines in 40k. 
It could be of an interest to some people to basically get the vast majority of an entire Space Marine army in one box set, even if it is quite an expensive one. It's definitely not going to appeal to everyone, of course. You have to like both the Heresy Era Marines and the sort of beaky Space Marine aesthetic. The tactical squads are the Mark VI ones here. And potentially it could mean that things might be a bit jarring if you add further Space Marine kits to it. You might need to think about other near proxies. But it is something that I've seen people occasionally use for a relatively cheap entry point into 40k for either the Loyalists or the Traitor Astartes. Plus does also have the advantage that you get a force that you could potentially use in both game systems as well if you wanted to dip a toe into Heresy. Finally that leaves us with only one. It's maybe not too surprising what's going to take the crown. The Leviathan box set was voted first by you guys. Four core Space Marine discount box sets coming out in 10th edition. I'm sure most people will be fairly familiar with the contents of this right now. Four Space Marine characters, a Captain Librarian, Combi Lieutenant, an Apothecary Biologist, five Terminators, ten Infernus Marines, five Stern Guard and a Ballistus Dreadnought, plus a whole army of Tyranids to fight against. The Combat Patrol contents that we mentioned earlier, plus things like the Neuro Tyrant, Screamer Killer, Barb Gaunts and Neuro Gaunts. The Vython was £150, €200 Euros, or $250.00. It was a kit that was produced in great numbers, and though it's gone from Games Workshop's web store, does tend to hide out at a few local gaming stores or Warhammer stores. Might be a bit region dependent as to whether or not there's anything in great supply though. Again, I thought it was interesting that compared with buying the separate kits for the Space Marines now, it'd still be a 31% discount, even if you did buy the entire box, rulebook, and mission deck and all. It looks like if you throw the Tyranids into the mix, you're looking at around about a 73% discount versus the kit separately. Obviously having some downsides in a lot of stuff being monoposed rather than getting additional weapon options. It is kind of crazy the disparity between a theoretical 70% discount versus a lot of the more recent combat patrols being more like 20 odd. In the box set at time of recording, the Space Marine points would add up to 875 points, 3.5 points per dollar base rising to 7 points per dollar if you split the box 50-50 with a Tyranid Collector. Including the Nids in the box, it's around about 16.55 points. Again, a great ratio, never mind the fact that you get a rule book and some mission cards. Overall, not really too hard to see why this one still ranks the best for 10th edition Space Marines. i say the units are generally usable enough in-game. The Ballista's Dreadnought's quite nice. Some of the characters are fairly optimal competitively. Maybe a few of the others might be a bit detachment specific, like the Infernus Marines maybe enjoying the Firestorm Force. In general, not too hard to see why the big box of new sculpts at kind of unheard of levels of discount previously was received well by fans. Generally, people are all on board for big new exciting box sets of new Space Marines fighting Xenos. Leviathan is maybe getting a little bit more scarce now. They're still available in some parts of the world. I noticed the UK seems to still have some good supply. Element Games linked in the video description still have good numbers of the box sets listed on their web store. Not sure when they'll wind up selling out. Otherwise, just given the sheer amount of box sets that were sold for this thing, you can still find them at least at somewhat reasonable prices on Amazon and eBay. You are likely to be paying a markup for them at this point as supply gradually winds down. But even so, given the levels of discounts, that still might not be the worst if it's at least some semblance of its original cost. And there's always the possibility of people breaking down the box set and selling units or box halves individually. In any case though, let me know your thoughts as to whether or not you'd agree with the popular votes as to the order that they were ranked. Which ones do you consider the best or worst Space Marine discount box sets in 10th edition? Look forward to hearing your thoughts down in the comments. If you've enjoyed the video, then feel free to subscribe to All Specs Tactics, or I'll certainly keep the regular 40k videos coming. I do tend to post new ones just about every day. Finally, if you have been enjoying all the videos on the channel, I would just like to mention that All Specs Tactics does have a Patreon page as well, and you can find that linked in the video description if you'd like to help support and keep these videos coming. Channel patrons do get a fair few advantages, seeing certain videos early, regular votes to see what sort of things come next on the channel, and automatic entry into the regular prize giveaways with a chance to win some big model kits each month. If any of that sounds good to you or you'd just like to help support, the link is down in the video description. In any case, a massive thank you for listening and I'll hope to see you guys next time.